Clearly Reviews and here today we're back with another strain review and today we have a strain that is coming from Greasy Couture and today's strain is the Tractor Fuel. The Tractor Fuel is a cross between Skittles, Chem 4, and the Fireball OG. This one right here is actually going to give off this very interesting smell and taste that is definitely going to have hints of chem in the taste but it's also gonna have this OZK type taste that is gonna be pleasant I actually did notice for the smell on this one it almost reminds me of Fruity Pebbles OG it has this very fruity sweet candy like smell to it that is kind of gonna have hints of like a little bit of gas in there it's definitely going to be a very interesting smelling slash tasting strain so you will see this one getting a very interesting overall final score so let's get into it I do believe in my spirits can't hop on the spirit that flight too long you two niggas trying to paint a picture of me and never last too long not too much on violence but nigga I'm silent but nigga I'm glad you gone if you got a name and you stand on business you can't be the first to fall bro got a body but brody got four bodies he the first to told on my back is a burden bro in the car and I did it on purpose they in suburban bro in the track and he hop on the curb then brody moved back cause brody started lacking just off his girlfriend I was stacking had to sleep on the matches nigga ain't perfect Take him out the slide, he can't even focus thinking what his girl did. I can't even lie, and I love the guys, and we made the real spin. On the jail call, but we still risk it cause he got emerging. Never post the guns that's really involved cause they lurking. Where I'm from, you don't get old. I know some killers that told. I know secrets that nobody knows. So as you've seen in the first original video of this one, this one has a lot of beauty to it. I will have to say that this one is definitely something that will stand out in a group but it's not going to be the prettiest thing you've ever seen in your life i will have to say that this one overall for the look in my personal opinion i would have to say that this one's going to be an 8.5 i think that an 8.5 is very fair i actually did give this one a 10 or i gave the ghost og a 10 out of 10 which looking back on that i might have changed it but I will have to say this one getting an 8.5 is very much fair due to the fact that this one has a lot of appeal based off the look, great nug structure, very beautiful strain, but as you can see when you zoom in very close on the trichomes, it's just not going to be that beautiful, beautiful sight that you're looking to see. The trichomes aren't fully developed to the extent that you would like to see them at, but that's me picking and being very critical so even though this one has that critique i think that this is all overall a beautiful strain and i think that this one would definitely be something that, that a lot of people pick out of a lineup as long as you aren't someone who's overly obsessed with purple that leads us to the smell the smell on this one is definitely something that is very much appealing and this one right here is definitely going to bait in almost anyone who smells it it is definitely going to be something that smells very nice and i would actually say this one for the smell is going to be a nine i think that a nine on this one is very fair it is something that very much left me satisfied and even though the smell was a bit better than the taste i actually think the taste was very good as well i honestly would say that the taste is going to be a seven out of ten i think that a seven out of ten is very much fair due to the fact that this one isn't a consistent taste at all it's definitely not a consistent taste, but it's definitely going to be a enjoyable one. You are going to have this hint of sweetness and just great OZK type of taste that is going to come from it. But you're also going to have hints of this chem that is going to be okay. It's definitely not going to be the thing that you're saying is the best thing you've ever tried that is tasting the best at least, you know, with the high... I will also say that the high wasn't necessarily something that I was super hyped up on. I can definitely say that the, the high was enjoyable. It was something that I really did enjoy, but I would have to say that this is also going to get a seven. And the reason why is just because it wasn't, it, it just wasn't what I was really expecting. Maybe I would actually say that the high was very enjoyable. The high was definitely going to be something that 
was pretty long lasting and definitely effective. It just wasn't necessarily going to have that OG kick to it. It wasn't going to have that chem kick to it either. I think it was more of a Skittles effect to it in a way. It was this pleasant, uplifted, uplifted creative high that was very much enjoyable, but it just wasn't what I was really expecting, nor was it something that I was just overly pleased with. So even though I was happy with it, it just wasn't something that I was chasing. So for me, I would say it's a seven for the taste and for the high. I would actually give this one a final overall score of this right here. And as you see, it's not the best score in the world, but it's definitely really nice. And it's definitely something that I would love to try again. I would love to try a fresher batch of it and try it in a different situation just because I think that this one right here was a good batch of it. I think that there isn't anything wrong with it at all. Maybe, maybe it could have been ran a little bit longer and ran to its fullest. Maybe I think it was possibly pulled a little bit early and that could be the possible reason why we see the, the look of the trichomes looking the way that it did. I'm not a grower, so I don't know shit, and it is what it is. So if you agree or disagree, let me know it in the comments, and if you are someone who also has a recommendation on a strain that you want me to see me review in the near future, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely open to doing a bunch more reviews and a lot of cannabis content, so please let me know all of the recommendations that you would like to see, and I definitely much appreciate you for even watching this. So definitely go check out more of my content, and stay blessed.